All right, today we'll be remapping what is pretty much a stock fortuner. Uh, well, he's gonna get a downpipe, so pretty much 99% stock. And we're, we're doing now, he's gonna do a baseline of the car first, see how much power it makes. This, by the way, is a 2.8, but the procedure to remap it is exactly the same as the 2.4. Uh, power obviously is lower than the 2.4, and it's the same procedure if you're doing a Hilux, Innova, Fortuner. They're all pretty much all the same cars. Uh, even the Land Cruiser and the Prado, they're all the same. So, I will show you exactly what is done during a remap, uh, what parameters do we adjust, and what exactly does remap reflash engine tuning mean. is that we have to plug the laptop into the car. Uh, that way they can talk to each other and that is done using this. This is a tactics cable. This thing is a uh, universal OBD port. Every car has this port actually. This is a universal standard agreed by all manufacturers for diagnosis and for software updates. So the location of this port is almost, no it's not almost, it's always underneath the steering wheel here of every single car but the position will vary some might have it here some might have it in the center some might have it on this side but every single car has this since 2002 <laughs> this basically plugs in here like that and then uh, what happens is if we're gonna do a Toyota what's important is that we're able to read the software version so this is what this uh, piece of software does what it, it enables us to there so what I did just now with that little sound is identify what type of ECU it is or more particularly what software versions inside the ECU which is this thing over here this calibration file. This is what we need to be able to remap this uh, Fortuner. So it's 89663F0663. So this one is the actual file or operating system of the car. We have a pretty much complete library already of what can and cannot be remapped. So this one, I know we've done it already, so we can go ahead and remap this one. So I've opened the file already and this is uh, these are what the contents are. So we can control everything here from the gearbox, which we don't really do, boost pressure, driver request, injection, volume, and so on and so forth. Each one of these things, let's say here. This thing is called a map. So that's why it's called remap. And it's also called reflash because the way that it's done is through a USB. And for all intents and purposes, you're ECU is a USB flash drive. So remap and reflash, they mean the same thing. So the actual act of tuning is this one. Select all of that, increase all of that, and so on and so forth. I have just done what 
every other chip out there does. DP chip, DPP, DPE. All these things do is just increase the real pressure of the car. And through a few strokes, I'm able to replicate exactly what they do. This alone actually makes power, but that's only one parameter that we can do. We can do other things like uh, this is the fun part here. So we have limiter, we have vehicle speed limit. It's currently now at 180. I can make it 300 if I want. No chip can do this. <laughs> And we also have here driver request. This is for ah, there you go, accelerator pedal map. This is the throttle delay that everybody's talking about. So we pretty much know that we want it oh, five steps more. So this basically just eliminates the pedal delay that everybody complains about. We have to do this other table here also. So idle all the way up to there. And boost, we can also increase the boost here. So there, I've just altered a bunch of parameters, but that by no means is complete. I still have to do pretty much everything here, but in essence, that's what remapping is. It's changing the values here of the ECU itself, and then I can export this. I can save it. And then load that file that I saved back into the ECU with all of these new settings. Now, yes, I make it look very easy and it seems to know, I seem to know what I'm doing because I do know what I'm doing. But here's the thing, how to adjust, how to adjust these numbers, how much to adjust these numbers, and what to adjust is what you're actually paying for. Uh, basically, it's like a doctor. You can go into a doctor, and then he'll diagnose you in five minutes. He'll know what's wrong with you and you pay like 5,000 bucks. Same thing, you're paying for the guy's expertise. Or you can go to another less experienced doctor who'll order a bunch, of, a bunch more tests and he'll try to figure out what's wrong with you in a day or two. Hey, it's cheaper, but <laughs> see what I mean? So anyway, this is what remapping is. So now we can load this back into the car and then we'll dyno it again, see how much power, how much more power we make. Well, we're done with our dyno as you saw a while ago. There is pretty much no smoke. So that's what everybody wants because nobody wants the smoke. And these are our results. Uh, the red line here, this one is a stock. Well, with a downpipe already, so it's at 170. Uh, this is torque, this is horsepower. Uh, here's the thing about dyno charts. Don't focus on this one single number here. Well, it's actually 165. Don't focus on this number here because this number, this 165 horses, only happens here at 3,200 RPM. If you don't even reach that on your normal driving, that number means absolutely nothing to you. And if you look at here at the start at 2,200 RPM, at full throttle, you're only making, well, the car's only making 40 horses, then 50 horses, then 60, then 70. Then at 3,000 RPM, it's only 110 horses. Most people actually never even reach 3,000 RPM. They've never reached 4,200 RPM. <laughs> they think that the engine will explode or something. No, that's not true. But anyway, this is maximum horsepower and this only appears at one single point in the graph. It's this one over here. So it's over there. Yeah, so 165 at 32 RPM. And this green line here now is after we remap it. So for the same RPM, we now went from 40 to 130, 
150 to 140, 70 to 160, 190 to 170, 120 to 180, so on and so forth. So our peak power here now is at 184 horses. So again, don't focus on these two because most people will just read these two numbers and think, how much power did you gain? 20 horses. Uh, no, that's not how much power you gain. The amount of power you gain is actually this entire thing over here. I've been doing this a long time so I can average it in my brain. This entire thing is about 40 to 50 horses. If you take the average of every single RPM point here like that, it comes out to about 40, 50 horses. Torque is also the same story. You start low at 140, then peaks out at 360, also at 3,200 RPM. And then your maximum torque now happens at a very, very early 28 RPM with a maximum increase of 140 to 400 here at 24 RPM. So again, your total torque is this entire thing, and this comes out to about 80 to 100 Newton meters more. 